Hi, welcome to the YouTube channel. Let's work with Model Magic and make Mario. I'm using white Model Magic. There's different colors. Um, you can use the different colors if you have that. And I have one part that's smaller than the other part for the head. And then I'm making two equal parts for the legs and two equal parts for the arm. I'm rolling it between my palms to make a ball and then I'm patting it together and this will be the head. And then I'm going to roll this out for the body and I'm using my palms just to roll it. Take your time, pat it if you need to. And then the legs I'm going to make a coil and then turn it kind of like an L. So I'm going to make them a little stocky and so again turn it and make an L and about the same length is helpful too. Try not to have them touch because once they touch they kind of connect. So I'm going to make an arm with a little bit of an L at the end, not so much, that's just for the hand. And then the next thing you're going to do is um, connect. So I don't think you need to do this, but I took a little pancake and I put it between the head and the body and later on I just squished it together. So I'm taking the toothpick and I'm rolling it very carefully, gently to connect and I highly recommend that but see I just squished it down so I really didn't need to do that. So I'm taking my thumb and my finger and I'm going to gently pinch an area right there and then I'm going to pinch between the two. So that's going to be my eyes and then just for the nose, the bridge of the nose. So I'm going to make a ball and I'm going to put it between the eye and then roll it on very lightly with the toothpick. And I'm going to make two little pancakes roll them out with my fingers, squish them down, and then flatten it. And these are going to be the ears, and I'm going to put them on both sides. And you can connect using the toothpick. But most of the time, if this stuff touches it, it does connect. It's pretty magical, but when it dries, it changes. So this is the hat, and I'm pinching around the sides, but I realized I needed more for the hat later on, so I'll add some more uh, model magic to it. So I'm just tapping everything, and that's basically how you work with model magic. You just keep tapping it. So I'm going to wiggle on the leg here, and I'm going to wiggle this leg on, and I'm going to give it a little bit of a force because this one was longer, and then I'm going to wiggle on the arm, and turn it so it looks like it's um, on its hip and do the same thing for the other arm. Just kind of squish it on and then turn it. Great. So I'm going to now adjust it a little bit and then I thought, oh yeah, I want to add a little extra clay for the back of the head. And you can do that. You can just kind of add it and tap it and just keep tapping it um, until it kind of connects. So I'm going to take some markers and I need a thin one for the eyes and the uh, mustache and it might go somewhere else besides that but you can always add another piece of model magic on top of it. So I'm just pressing down there and there for the eyes and I had to lift this up to get to the brow. That's why you kind of want a small marker here and really any type of marker should work. And if it goes somewhere you don't want it to go, you can cover it up with another piece of model magic. This particular marker did not work well, so I have to get another one in just a bit. It's just not gliding on, it's pretty dry. But I managed to kind of tap on the marker color, and I actually learned that you can change the shape using the marker, so that was kind of cool. So the blue is working really well. It did cover up where I wanted to put the buttons, so I'm just going to put another piece of Model Magic over that, but it is gliding on really nicely, so I'm thankful for that. So it does matter if the marker is working well. So if it goes in places you don't want it to go, you can uh, cover it up with another piece of Model Magic, and that's the beauty of this. It's a little weird when it's... Um, see, there's the buttons. It's a little weird when it's soft because it can change the shape, but otherwise it should work pretty well. So there's the buttons here, and I used yellow. So thank you so much for tuning in, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I hope you have fun with Model Magic. The main thing is make shapes and then lightly tap them together, and you can make all sorts of cool things. All right, please like and subscribe.